Let the light from the lighthouse shine oh shine on me I wanted to tag this text this morning for a few moments and talk about a prescription for rest. A prescription for for rest. At the time of our text today, Jesus offers to the individual an opportunity for a relationship with him. What had happened is he had offered himself to to the nation, um, but men were too too caught up in in religion instead of establishing a relationship with the Lord. I, I want to argue today that. We must be careful that we do not just be religious because there's a danger that exists for people who are religious and not in a relationship with the Lord. It's possible to come to church every Sunday and be punctual in your arrival. It is possible to pay the tithe and offering and 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 be engaged in everything going on and still miss heaven uh, because God is not concerned about church attendance as being a prerequisite to making it in the kingdom. We must be born again. And this is what happens, Antonio, sometime when we see people who have been in the church house a long time. And they seem as if though they are not getting it because they have failed to develop a relationship with the Lord. Conversely, we see those who have been, as they would say in the days of old, rank sinners who have been involved in sin on every hand come down the aisle, give their life to Jesus and turn their life literally around because they develop a relationship with the Lord. We are to be co-laborers together in the kingdom enterprise but in a relationship with Jesus in him in this house. And, and so the Lord here as he surveys the people he see all and know that really underneath the skin they are not doing too well i wanted to raise this issue because i know as i look out across the audience many of you look like you're on top of the world but i think that if we would do an internal examination we may find that the world is on top of you uh, it, it takes a lot of muscles it takes a lot of effort uh, to keep that smile on our face when there is pain in our heart. I thought I had some help in here. It, 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 it's hard to muster up a feel-good moment. When you've been down in the valley all week long. Y'all going to talk to me here. It, it's hard to just act like there's nothing going wrong. When life is literally falling apart at the scene. And Jesus looked out and he seen a people. Who, who really who really, yeah, didn't have it together. Right. You know, I was talking uh, to a friend the other day, and I said this to him, it's all right to admit that you ain't all right. <laughs> Y'all gonna help me here for a minute. See, it's all right to know that you aren't all right, because most of the time we keep telling ourselves I'm all right when we're not all right. And, and Jesus, he pierces through, he pierces through these facades of, our accessories and and he issues first of all in this text a great invitation what makes this great this invitation great is who it is that's issuing the invitation 
is Jesus talking. He says, come on to me. He, he invites, yeah, those who would be invited to come to him. And I tell you, you ought to go to Jesus. Oh, Big Daddy said it like this. I came to Jesus. Oh, somebody ought to help the preacher in here this morning. Just as I was, I was weary, I was wounded, and I was sad. But he went on to say, in that old Dr. Watt, but I found in him. Do I have any help in this house? I, I found in him a sweet old resting place. And he has, yes, he has made me glad and and so you know, yeah, this 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 is a great this is a great invitation because of who's issuing the invitation. This is not Moses, and this is not Abraham or Isaac or Jacob. This is Jesus, and he says, "Come on, unto me." And, and and my brothers and my sisters, in in our search in our search for peace, in our search for for those moments where it would be well with our our soul. Many have sought to find rest in the wrong places. I, I, I mean, if you become a workaholic, all you're going to have is money. And it's been proven that money cannot satisfy. Because with money, you can, you can buy a house, but you won't have a home. Walk with me if you can. It, it's been proven that money does not satisfy. You, 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 with money, you can buy a woman or a man. But you won't have a marital relationship. But with money, you, you can have so-called friends. But you know when your money is funny and your change is strange, your friends are already gone. I thought I had somebody to help me here. And, 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 and listen, listen. What, what some of us said... If I can just be debt free. You, listen. You cannot owe anybody. Seem like you own everything. You claim you own. And put on silk pajamas. And lie upon satin sheets. And toss all night long. You, you can have the latest luxury car in the driveway. And still don't have peace on the inside. And, 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 and I wanted to come tell some people here this morning that it's not about where you live. It's not about what you wear. It's not about what you drive. Because if you're comparing yourself to other folks. Shame on you. That the Lord has been so good to you that he's held things together. So they wouldn't fall apart. He, he's held things up so they wouldn't fall down. He, he's keeping me right now. Shame on you that you would then take the blessings of God and look at somebody else and talk about, I wish I had. But you don't know what they are going through. You don't know what it takes to live where they live. Look, you ought to thank God that things are as well with you as, <laughs> as they are. And, and so the invitation now here is issued by by Jesus, that makes it a great invitation. Everybody say great invitation. And, and you know, you, you know, when they be having them, them big parties, you be wanting to know, have you gotten in, invited? Because you, you know you want to get invited to, yeah, to, to, to the great parties. And, and here's the one Jesus said, come. Come on to me. Now, to whom does he issue this, this invitation? Uh, it, it's, it's in... It's, it's in to, He's inviting any and everybody. See, see, this this first call is for salvation. So he said, "Look, you're lost. You're on your way to hell, and you ain't enjoying the trip. Come unto me." I thought I had somebody that said they were saved earlier in the sermon. And 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 listen, it ought to be more than me in here can they say since Jesus has come in. To my life, oh, what a wonderful change has come over me. And, and, and so, look, sin will weary you. Sin will exhaust you. Sin will exasperate you. Do I have any help in here? I, I got somebody who know what I'm talking about. The, the guilt of sin, it will mess you up. Your past will haunt you if you don't have a relationship with the Lord. See, you've got to know that Jesus washed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
He washed all of my sins away. And, and, and that's the first release I need. I need to be released from my sin. And, and in order to be released from my sins, I need a savior. I need somebody who can handle my sin. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and a heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He, he invites all to come, young, old, white, black, rich, poor. He, he said, come, come, and, 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 and I'll, I'll help you out. Yeah. See, because I tell you, fame will suggest to you wow. that if you take me, it'll be all right. But see, if you get to be famous, and then the crowd is not cheering your name. Yeah. It then proves to be empty. Oh, I wish I had some witnesses here who have looked at countless and countless number of stars and actors and actresses and rich people who have died, yeah, at the hands of a pill bottle, who have died at the hands of a gun because they found out what, some, what Solomon said, vanity, 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 all. Oh. Yeah, is vanity yeah. if you don't have Jesus. That's why the old mother who's on, on Social Security, fixed income, can have so much joy Boy. when the corporate executive is contemplating killing himself oh. because she understands that every day with Jesus, yeah. I'm going to get out of here, it is sweeter than the day, but don't make me get happy by myself. Anybody here know that that is better now than it was since you met Jesus? Look, bills are still due. I thought I had some there. Trouble still gets in my way. I have to cry sometimes, but it's better. And oh, it's better since I met Jesus. These these burdens that I'm bearing, they are not as heavy since I met Jesus. These loads that I'm carrying are not as heavy since I met Jesus. It's better. I tell somebody in the room, but you looking at me like you don't believe me, try Jesus. He's all right. Well, he'll fix it. He'll fix it for, for you. See, many, many, many of you running around here with head trouble to do what is right. You know, because Paul said every time I did, desire to do good, he said evil was pressing on. Yeah, talk to me in here. On every hand. Some of y'all got heart trouble. You, you got something that happened to you in your life and you can't seemingly get over it. You, you lost a loved one and you just can't seemingly get over it. Somebody stabbed you in the back and you just can't seemingly get over it. Somebody dug a ditch you fell in you just can't seemingly get over it you saw them set the trap and you fell in it and you just can't seemingly get over it i recommend taking this invitation because look when you hook up with jesus you can pray for your enemies oh y'all ain't gonna help me close I, I, I said when you hook up with jesus you can smile in their face hug their neck and don't mean them no evil because you know the Lord said fingers in mine said the Lord and, 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 and so if you got if you got heart trouble yeah come to Jesus he's a heart fixer if you got head trouble come to Jesus he's a mind regulator do I have anybody here that know if he wasn't in your life now look before you help me I need to warn you because when you help me on this one your neighbor gonna look at you kind of strangely but I need somebody to help me testify that if the Lord wasn't in your life you'd be straight crazy right now do I have anybody in here right now you've had enough stuff to happen to you to have sent you up to the crazy house hallelujah to his name bless your God that you're keeping me right right now so so this invitation first of all is a call to to salvation for all who are who are lost and, and and the thing about it is if you're lost you're just yeah you're just lost and and and, and look here it is I won't tell the lost that you don't have time to fix up you got to come to Jesus just as you are. Your fixing got you in the fix. 
that you're in right now. But if you come to Jesus, look, this is what he'll do. He'll no wise cast you out. Oh, I tell you, a woman came to him at the well with men problems. But she met Jesus and left the bucket at the well, went back to town with a shout and a testimony. Come see a man. A crook met him in a sycamore tree. I wish I had a witness here. Came down and said, Lord, I give half my money to the poor. And anybody I ripped off, I'm going to quadruple their repayment of what I took from. Y'all ain't going to help me here. I've seen some messed up folk meet Jesus and they got their lives turned. <laughs> Turn around. And, and he said, come on to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. There's no labor like mental labor. Or oh, I'd go out, Sammy, and cut grass eight hours in the hot sun. And I can get some rest when I get in the, the shade. But I can sit up in an air-conditioned room with a messed up mind. Feel like I've been hauling logs all day long. Oh, I tell you, mental anguish. I said mental anguish. It, it, it'll mess you up where you'll be tired and hadn't even moved. You're, you're awakened from slumber and feel like you've been wrestling with a bear all night long. M ment mental anguish will have you popping pills. To calm your nerves. Mental anguish. Will have you talking about folk talking about you. And they ain't, don't even have you on their little mind. Come on help me close here. We, 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 need, we need Jesus to help us. Help us run. This, this race. And you know. <laughs> if something happens to me externally you can see it and be concerned illustratively if I were to be in a wreck you can see the banged up vehicle and have concern about me and my body responding from the accident but when my mind has been assaulted when my spirit has been bruised and battered. It's beyond your comprehension to be able to help me. But there is one who said, come on to me. D do you hear me all? Ye that labor and a heavy laden and I will give you rest. I told you it's a great invitation because it is issued by Jesus and it is issued to all of those who would recognize that I cannot make it without the Lord in my life. It is issued to those who, yes Lord, who are out in a sin-cursed world without a savior. Don't you hear him saying uh, in Isaiah 1 and 18, uh, he said, come now, let us reason together. Pray God, said the Lord, though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Do you hear me? What the Lord is saying, I'm able to turn your life.
up around listen what he said on my way to my seat he said come unto me all he that labor and a heavy laden well what you gonna do for me Jesus I'm gonna give you rest is it anybody in this room today who needs rest you've been tossed and driven upon the restless sea of time some beskied and howling tempest often succeed your bright sunshine but in that land a perfect day when the mishand rolled away we shall understand it better by and by is anybody here know that the Lord can give you rest he can give you rest first of all I get rest from my sin because I have a savior who paid it all good morning here now but I want to know what can wash away my sin and make me whole again nothing but the, the blood of Jesus. Do I have a saint in the house? Who oh, matter? His blood saves us. His blood secures us. His blood sustains us. His blood shadows us. Is anybody here know that you've been chained and you ain't too mean to be a witness that the Lord saved your soul? He saved my soul when he paid the price way back on Calvary he gave his hand to the nails he gave his feet to the spike he gave his crown to the thorn he gave his side to the spear he gave his spirit to his father and he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder and he died anybody know he died didn't he do but I'm so glad, Mingo, that that's not how the story is. Herman predated later. Pretty early. Sunday morning, he rolled with all power in his hand. If you know he lived, and he's your savior, and he's your rock in the weary land. If you know he's your all and all, help me say it. Sunday morning he rolled with all power. Do you know he lived? If you know he lived, shout yeah! Shout yeah! The Lord is able to give you rest. 